Well, uh, our final guest of the program knows the arts well. She runs her very own performing arts group, You Can Be The One, which uses expressive performing arts to teach morals, manners and life skills. Welcome to the show, Anissa Kassoon. Assalamu alaikum. Um, Welcome to our program. Um, you come from a performing arts background, so when you see something like that, uh, the West Bank opening up its doors, the theatre opening up its doors, and people addressing real issues, how does that make you feel? I was quite impressed. I mean, they're quite, they're very theatrical. I wasn't expecting it to be <laughs> that theatrical. It's quite uh, traditional yeah. compared to some of the stuff that we do. Um, so yeah, quite impressed. Well, I guess it really hits home with you because they're addressing similar issues, which you like to do in your own work, right? Yeah, I mean, my inspiration, as some of you may know, that uh, I saw a drama group in mm. the Congo and they were using drama to stop the women from getting raped. And mm. I thought that was amazing. You know, small production teams, it's a bit like that, but not so dramatic. Yeah. But they were going around to the villages and they were showing the women and reenacting, just using drama and, you know, a few theatrical techniques. And mm. it was helping uh, dramatically, you know, the numbers dropped. Sure. Yeah. When you say it's helping, how can we see this in sort of like, I know you said the numbers dropped, but um, in terms of something like what's happening in the West Bank, how is that likely to change the psyche of people? I mean, I think especially when you're dealing with young people, you have to use a language that they understand and media, whether it's theatre or whatever, you know, mm. they understand that a lot more than talking yeah um, so I think if you you know engage with them mm. then it can educate it definitely can ed educate and with theatre is it something that you have to sort of want to go like Sabri was saying he likes going to the theatre so is it does it only attract a certain type of people that come to the theatre um, it depends <laughs> sometimes I mean I know with us here in London uh, it's very different uh, like to try and get convince people to come down they thought that it was going to be this big you know theatrical kind mm. of Shakespearean mm. piece but it wasn't very modern very cool yeah. you know we mixed a bit of comedy um, the, the children enjoyed it but the main thing is that they are learning so the morals are coming out there's always a key message guys are you theatre fans you like a bit of production Mm -hmm. Yes, Baza, you're nodding away there. Have yeah, you seen yeah. anything uh, in the last few yeah, months? Yeah, at university time during my bachelor's back oh, really? in, wow. in Dubai. Yeah, we've done a few Palestinian, because I'm originally Palestinian, so we've right. done a few Palestinian uh, plays there, yeah, yeah, back in the university. Were you acting in any of them? Uh, yes, I, I did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Great stuff. Maybe you guys can work together. I love today's show. Yes. <laughs> bit of Wing Chun, bit of acting. <laughs> Great stuff. Now, Anissa, I want to take it back um, slightly. When you first started out, with performing arts. Yeah. You didn't get uh, a positive reaction, did you? T tell no, us what happened. Not at all. I think, uh, well, for me, when I became a Muslim, which was 20 years ago now, very long time yeah. ago, um, I came from a performing arts background. That's all I knew. So to come into Islam and be mm. told, that's it, you can't do this, I was like, oh my God, what do I do with my sure. life now? Um, I mean, we'll network later, but <laughs> I went into health and sports and fitness. Right. Um, but you know, as I got older, I mm. realized, no, this is an important tool and there's a reason why Allah has given it to me. Yeah. So I started to use it. Um, and especially seeing that, like I said, the traditional ways of yeah. teaching or educating mm. the youth and is not working. So... Well, yeah. we talked about tools, mm. you're, you're talking about using it as a tool, and we talked earlier on in the show about weight loss. Can issues like that be used oh. in theatre as well? A hundred percent. We did a play um, with some young girls about image and hijab and we brought up obesity in there and it had such a, a really positive effect um, because you can use it as a preventative tool yeah, yeah. so I think that's the great thing about theatre. Sure. Now um, Anissa you work with the youth mm -hmm. now Basa when you were involved in theatre production in Dubai yeah um, this was quite a few years ago what did it give you personally? Um, actually it, it was also youth it was in the university so it was university production so it was also uh, f uh, with youth, yeah. So the the teamwork and the the when when you look at people and see the love of Palestine inside mm -hmm. their eyes, yeah. Because the the people who who worked with us in the, in that um, uh, play was not only Palestinians and and now I just remembered the stage manager of that play was uh, an Egyptian girl who just passed away a week ago in Egypt. Mm -hmm. So and she was really really passionate about Palestine. And we had many different different nationalities, people from mm. the different nationalities, mm. all youth. I think that drama is, is something that that is really, really important and really efficient in, in delivering messages. Sure. Definitely. Now, just seeing the emotions on Basel's yeah. face, 
um, talking about yeah. what he was involved in a few years ago really, really brings it home. Yeah, like, definitely. That's key with theatre. It yeah. really pulls out your heartstrings. And I love the fact that he said about, you know, um, bringing together people because it's that's not it. just for yeah. the youth. I mean, we've had old aunties in our audience laughing, you know, so we, you know, it's for the, it's all for it's all for, different ages, different that's cultures. Yeah. Well, guys, fascinating discussion. Thank you so much, Anissa. Okay. Wish you all the best uh, with your continued uh, productions. Thank you. Thank it's you time much. now for our final.